Can you imagine which skills you will need? My personal overarching principle is to prioritize safety first and only dive within my own limits. Once we have clarified the five most important things to consider, I will share with you a list of the gear items you might want to start with. Are you ready to start with the most important one? It's all about personal fit and comfort. When it comes to scuba gear, comfort is key. The right fit can make all the difference in your diving experience. You need to test your gear repeatedly until you find the perfect fit for your body type and diving style. This ensures maximum comfort and safety during your underwater adventures. Don't compromise on it. Second gear, functionality and purpose. You must understand the functionality and purpose of each piece of gear, which is a crucial part. Familiarize yourself with each item. Test it to ensure you feel comfortable operating it. This is the foundation and it's essential for a safe and enjoyable dive. Third, it's all about proper maintenance and care of your gear. This can significantly extend the lifespan of the product and ensure its functionality. Most of my gear is around four years old or older. I always ensure that I store it properly and take continuous care of it to ensure it's always in its best condition. Every brand provides you with recommendations on service intervals. Your trusted dive shop will normally be able to provide you with the required services. They typically work with a service technician who possesses the required and necessary certificates to maintain your preferred brand. All brands are updating their products and the technician will know when they need to replace something. Fourth is all about budget and cost effectiveness. When considering a budget for scuba diving, it's crucial to understand that scuba gear can be a significant investment. The key is to strike a balance between cost and quality. While it might be tempting to opt for the cheapest gear, it is essential to ensure that safety and functionality are not compromised. This means investing in equipment that is durable, reliable and suitable for your specific needs. Consider factors such as the type of diving you plan to do, the conditions you'll be diving in and how frequently you'll use the gear. It's also worth exploring options such as renting equipment or purchasing second-hand gear in good condition to save costs. Remember, while it is important to be cost-effective, your safety underwater should always be the priority. A small problem above water can quickly escalate into a significant issue underwater. Therefore, never compromise on the quality of essential items. It's a good idea to start with basic gear and gradually upgrade as you gain more experience and confidence. Also, keep in mind that maintenance costs can accumulate, so be sure to include them in your budget. Ultimately, the goal is to find gear that offers the best value for your money, providing a safe and enjoyable diving experience without breaking the bank. Fifth is all about your gear. Have a continuous look at gear reviews and recommendations. With a plethora of options available in the market, selecting the right scuba diving gear can indeed be a daunting task. Thorough reviews and recommendations can significantly simplify this process. These reviews should offer detailed insights into the performance, durability, ease of use and comfort of the gear. It's important to consider gear that is highly rated by other divers and has positive reviews. Look for gear that is recommended for the type of diving you plan to do, whether it's recreational, technical or professional. Additionally, gear recommendations should be tailored to your level of experience and the specific conditions in which you will be diving. For instance, beginners might prefer gear that is easy to use and maintain, while experienced divers might look for advanced features and customization options. It's also beneficial to consider gear from reputable brands known for their quality and excellent after-sales service. Remember, the right gear can significantly enhance your diving experience, so take the time to research and choose wisely. Let's review these main topics. First, personal fit and comfort. Second, gear functionality and its future purpose. Third, proper maintenance and care of your gear. Fourth, budget and cost effectiveness. And lastly, staying updated through gear reviews. These were the main areas to be considered. Here is the promised outline containing the most important items and key points for your future gear. If you have already gained some experience and feel comfortable with your gear, please leave a comment in the section below. The first one is a mask designed to provide a clear underwater vision.
They come in different styles and colors, each offering unique benefits. Choose the one that fits your face shape and makes you feel comfortable. Clear masks allow for improved visibility and lighter weight. Low volume masks are travel friendly and easy to clear. When traveling, I usually store my mask inside the fin. This helps me save some luggage space. Your personal dive computer is a must, as many dive centers require divers to use their own or rent one. A dive computer contains all the crucial dive data, enhancing your safety and efficiency. Choose a dive computer with clear displays and long battery life. Overly complex interfaces can be difficult to read underwater. Your torch is necessary for visibility during night dives or in dark environments. I always dive with at least one torch, even with high lumens, which offer better visibility. Compact torches are easy to carry, but generally, powerful torches have a shorter battery life. Therefore, make sure to check that your battery is fully charged before diving. A surface marker buoy is essential for signaling your location to boats and other divers. Buoys with high visibility colors are easier to spot. Inflatable buoys are compact and easy to carry. To make others aware of your presence, you should also carry a safety whistle. This simple tool enables you to alert others with minimal effort in case of an emergency. Whistles can be heard from a distance. Before purchasing, I tested my last three or four fins. Fins enhance your mobility underwater and they come in various forms, weights and shapes. Adjustable fins provide a better fit. Split fins provide efficient propulsion with less effort. Recently, many scuba divers, myself included, have started using free diving fins. Your wetsuit will provide you with thermal protection underwater. Wetsuits with good flexibility offer superior comfort, while thicker wetsuits provide more warmth. Poorly fitted wetsuits can cause discomfort, and thin wetsuits may not provide sufficient warmth in cold water. The scuba diving regulator delivers air from your tank, making it a crucial piece of gear. Top regulators with easy-to-use purge buttons are beneficial. Balanced regulators provide consistent airflow at depth. Unbalanced regulators can become harder to breathe from at depth. We must cover the buoyancy control device, also known as BCD. The BCD controls your buoyancy underwater, making it a vital piece of gear. They also come in many forms and shapes. I recommend female divers to check if their preferred brand offers BCDs specifically designed for women. Some BCDs have integrated weight systems, which are convenient. Some back inflate BCDs offer improved horizontal trim. Ensure you choose a BCD with the appropriate lift capacity. The market is full of great equipment, and you'll find what suits you best. Take the time to consider renting it first and then buying it later. Ask your friends about their experiences and recommendations, and make sure you are purchasing from reputable sources. Remember that safety always comes first. Take a deep breath, plunge into the unknown, and embark on a journey that will transform you, leaving you with memories that will last a lifetime. Let me know in the comments if there is anything missing in this section that I can include in upcoming episodes. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss this incredible dive into the deep blue. See you in the next episode. Until then, keep diving and exploring.